and it, I, out of curiosity, like, and I'm not going to ask numbers, but like, wh- how do you, is it a percentage of, like, how do you, how do you get a residual off of a show that is based off of an entry price? There's no charging for the show. How does that yeah. work? Yeah. So that was difficult to figure out. Right. It, you're right. It's a turnstile. You're, you're paying, right. I don't know what it is. For all of it. Yeah. You're paying Harry Potter for Transformers, so, everything. So how do you assign it to here, to here, to there? So they did a buyout. They did a flat fee for us and it mm-hmm. was substantial. Mm-hmm. And then in the writer's guild contract, there's a minimum. There's a, you know, whatever it is. Um, I'm not sure what it is. It might, it might is it 75,000? It might be. If your work is turned into a theme park ride, you get a minimum of this. And you can negotiate above scale, but it's a flat fee. It's a buyout, basically. Okay, so so for that 25 years, you're not getting percentages yeah. of anything. You just got a big flat out payoff, yeah. Yeah. Um, which was substantial, Wasn't it was the min- sub- which is not the minimum. Correct. And, okay. and, they, and it was for every time they opened it in a new park, we got another payment. So I think that's true in the Writers Go contract, too, which is, you know, you get this payment for one use. And mm-hmm. if there's another one, you get another payment, you know, et cetera. Got it. And whatever. And then but you have the power to negotiate at that point if they want you can it. Negotiate above scale. If your name is Joss Whedon, you're going to get more than that. Yes. Right. Yeah, exactly. But Joe Schmo, you're going to get the minimum. Got it. But something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something. It's something to, to, to give you. Um, and you're still getting residual checks off, off the exploitation of that film. I am. That's insane. That's insane. I mean, 25, you would think a film like that, and it's, Waterworld is such an interesting, is such an interesting legacy because, I mean, it, it's a movie that has still stayed in the zeitgeist. And I, because there's a lot of movies in, that was made in that time, like,